Um, I'd like to next introduce uh, Mr. James Hoffa. Uh, Mr. Hoffa has been with the International Brotherhood of Teamsters since being given his union card on his 18th birthday. Uh, I bet you didn't know I knew that. Uh, <laughs> Since 1999, he has served as the general president of the Teamsters. Mr. Hoffa is a committed and tenacious crusader for issues affecting the health and safety of professional commercial drivers. And we have had the pleasure of working with the Teamsters on many, many truck safety issues. And we are very, very glad that you're joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with the Truck Safety Coalition. Uh, to be joined by so many people from law enforcement uh, and all the people in this room. I think uh, we all speak with the same voice uh, and we all know what the problem is. Uh, I'm president of the Teamsters Union. We have more than 1.4 million members and more than half of those people are truck drivers. So we know what we're talking about and we know who we represent. And we're concerned about their safety, we're concerned about their productivity, and we're concerned about what's going on out there with the idea of making trucks larger. Now we're coming through a, a very rough winter and anybody's noticed the roads are falling apart, the bridges are falling apart, our infrastructure is failing, and yet they want heavier trucks to take a toll on, on these roads and trucks and bridges. That's a mistake. We also know the simple, simple physics of larger trucks are harder to stop, they're harder to control. And we also know that this is a danger to my members, the members of the Teamsters Union and the truck driving uh, public at, at large. The other thing we know is we all drive cars. So to some extent, we're all, we're not talking about going to the moon. This is something we do every day. And as you know, people on the highway, we know what it is to be behind a big truck or to see the different problems out there. We do not need bigger trucks. The trucks right now are just the right size and basically the push for bigger trucks, longer trucks, heavier trucks is a terrible mistake. And also the study they're talking about uh, that's being done, I understand, by the Department of Transportation is going to be flawed because they're basically comparing uh, North Dakota and South Dakota and Wyoming to I-95 out here. Or here, you know, what the congestion here is Maryland and Washington, D.C. and Virginia. The terrible congestion we see every day. And we know how one truck can back everything up. Now, we think trucks are great, and we love trucks, but we want trucks to be basically safe. We want them not to impact the driving public, and we want them to be part of the system and not be a problem. I think it's a terrible mistake, and you really wonder after all of these hearings, and by the way, I've been here with the coalition a number of times, it seems every year there is a push for bigger trucks. And you wonder, where does that come from? Uh, you know, we were successful last year in stopping this. Uh, we had our friends from law enforcement, which play a very important role talking to, you know, they have the credibility of talking to congressmen and saying, we're on the highway, we see the toll. These are important things, but every year we have to fight this fight. And you really wonder, where is the push for bigger trucks? Where is the push for the people that can say, this is good? And the answer is, it's about money. There's money in bigger trucks because they can have the same driver driving a bigger truck delivering a bigger load. Well, the answer is we are not going to sacrifice the safety of the public for money. And that's got to be our, our message out here, and we're going to do that. So thank you very much. It's a great uh, pleasure to be here at the coalition, and we're going to be working very hard on this with the coalition. Thank you very much.